So first I should probably do a little introduction to why I'm doing these unboxing videos. The one thing I can look back on in my first year of having my YouTube studio and my channel is this office was cramped. So what you'll see is from the other pictures that I will display probably here and here, this office was really cramped. So I needed a new setup. I ended up looking into some sit-stand desks. The only downside is most of them were way outside of my budget. I needed a desk that would be my main battle station where I would do all my video editing from. I probably won't do a full-fledged review video of the desks until I get about four or five months to actually work with them. This box is from Sunnin. So we just, for those that have been watching, I just completed the build of the main battle station. In that video, you can see up here, uh, this one is going to be the secondary box, and I'm trying to figure out how to get it out. Which, I don't, this box is not nearly as damaged as the other one was. It's got a damage here on the... No, there wasn't any damage on the box. Oh yeah, I guess there is. So, I don't know if you can see this here, but that damage comes right through to the styrofoam. So, leg, controller, heart bag, bottom leg, other bottom leg, other leg post, and then just like the other build, I'm going to get rid of the box and everything else is in it. So nice that they have these little plastic pieces on the edge. So Having already put one of these together, the desk right here, uh, hopefully these instructions are as easy uh, as the last one. First we're going to install the legs. I need to flip the table down. As such. This one's kind of cool because it actually has them labeled. Uh, so that's neat. We'll break into those. Based on how the last one just was built, I imagine it sits just like this. Actually building the last desk, uh, this should be, this should go fairly easy. Really it's just lining up the holes and screwing these in. If this is the first unboxing video that you've watched uh, on my channel, this is actually the Sunnin. It is, I believe, 40, I think it's 48 by 36. I'll get the measurements. I'll have them listed right up here when I go to edit this video. Uh, one thing I have noticed is a little, where the holes are positioned, it's really hard to get the Allen without hitting the side of the leg. Allen, 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 Allen. In doing these unboxing videos, let me get down so I can be seen, is so I spent, ooh, those are kind of off. Does it move? That's kind of off center, huh? Okay, ran into the first issue. 
see if it has a little give here because I'm actually off center. Okay, so let's see if we can, if the legs line up better over there. Uh, I researched these stand-up desks for about the last five and a half weeks. One, I'm kind of tight when it comes to, well, I shouldn't say tight. I know how much money I have budgeted. For this whole rebuild of my studio, I had about $1,000. I knew I needed two desks, I needed a bookcase, and I needed other trinkets for my studio. Yep, see that one works a lot better. I did, I spent five weeks researching these, and the one thing that came apparent is obviously I look at price, but what I do is I read the reviews. If you're looking for a stand-up desk, uh, you have the parameters that you would want in a desk. One of the things on my list were obviously the dimensions, and then the next thing was the height, how high it could go. And the one thing that really was, really the caveat with me was if it was single or dual motor. So both of my desks are dual motor. You obviously have two motors, so you have two things that can go wrong, right? Well, I didn't, I didn't think of it like that. I thought of it as it's going to go up a lot smoother and a lot quieter. Which, if you look at the other video I did for the MotionWise desk, that one is super quiet. It's so nice. One of the things that came up in quite a few of the reviews was how easy it is to put together. If I had somebody that said, poor instruction, uh, instructions were confusing, took me way too long to build, the ones I focused on were how easy it was to build. Obviously, some of the more expensive, you know, eight hundred to a thousand dollars or more, you know, they're they're pretty easy to put together. Uh, their instructions are pretty easy to understand. I mean, to get a decent desk, you could spend anywhere from three to four hundred dollars all the way up to twelve hundred dollars. If you're spending that kind of money, you kind of want it easy to build. We'll torque these down, get these nice and tight. You don't have to really reef on them too hard, but you definitely want them tight. You don't want any wobble. <laughs> and the wobble you're going to get in a desk is going to come from how the feet attach to the main frame. So far, the build's going pretty easy. We had just the one uh, issue with hopefully when we grab the other leg, it will fit, fit better than the last one did. Some of the desks I reviewed, I would read things like, Holes didn't align. Well, that's what we just experienced right now, so let's make sure that this one is going to align. Yeah, this looks this looks good. But yeah, don't get frustrated. I mean, just like you saw me do, it would have been easy to try to reef that in there. That would be super frustrating. You spend, you know, four or five hundred bucks on a on a new desk, only to find out that the holes don't align and you have to drill and tap new holes. That would be so frustrating. These are close. We'll get all four of these started first to make sure we don't have to do any extra work. This is the one thing that I was fearful of the most is these not aligning. And you hate, you hate to reef them in there because then you have the possibility of doing what? Well, stripping them out. Gosh, they're so far off. I wish I could actually show you Shoot, this build might be over because I can't physically get that in there without stripping it out. Oh, the first desk went perfect. This one, not as much. So, see how many I can get in here without stripping them out. to do. I guess, worst case scenario, I can strip it out. If it strips out, then I contact Amazon. They'll send me a new one. Here goes nothing. I can already see metal shavings forming. Yeah, it's going in cockeyed. It's just going to strip out the screw. So it, it actually reached over and caught the threads, enough of the threads that it actually kind of spun it into place. So I guess we'll go with it. Uh, we'll see how it works when I get it standing up. So I'm actually going to do a double check on all the tightness. Next will be the legs. This is a little unique. 
because it just sits on there. Uh, the other one, which I give hats off to the other company, the legs or the feet actually go over the legs. Felt secure that the foot actually goes into the leg. This just kind of sits on top. So uh, again, just difference in build. Not saying any negative or positive yet. <laughs> I guess I'll find out when I get the desk built and installed. So, so far so good. I mean the build I'd give it 7 out of 10 because that's the only one issue. I mean it was almost catastrophic. Next we're going to fasten the controller to the edge of the desk and I can you can mount it on either side. I think I want it on the right side away from the other desk. When I would actually look at the review videos on either Amazon or YouTube, I would actually look in the comments. Amazon has a great feature that you can ask questions. So I would ask questions on, you know, is it a single, is it a dual motor? Uh, what's the what's the weight? Uh, what's the weight capacity of this? What's the height capacity of the desk? What's the, the lowest it can go? And one of the things that I've I also looked into, because your higher end desks, your desk where you're going to spend eight, nine hundred, even a thousand dollars, they're going to have integrated cable management systems. Now, a lot of desk companies like FlexiSpot, uh, they'll have a desk that says it's two, you know, two hundred ninety nine dollars. But after you add all the cable management into it, then you're well over four hundred fifty bucks. So we've got that plugged in. Now it looks like you want to connect the components. As shown in the picture, leg is going to go, see like this, all this loose cable, it just, just doesn't make sense. So this plugs into, how do you know if it plugs into M1 or M2? So it looks like this connects into there, that's into there, and this only has one option. Oh, it does, oh, I guess it does have a cable management system. I didn't notice that. So they do have some cable management in here. Kind of hunky, weird cable management, but I don't like that. That looks. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, you can't see that. You can see it probably up there. Diagram is not very good, to say the least. I'll have to take a picture of it and show it. I'm gonna spend more time trying to figure out the cable management system. And it took me to build the desk. So the desk was built in 15, 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna just do some fine tuning because I wanna hide the cables as much as possible. Now we're gonna install the power. Stand it up. Still got a considerable amount of gap on this one side. I mean, it feels very sturdy. Ensure that no obstacles exist during lifting the table. Table is not attached to the wall and wires are long enough for the table to move up and down. Preset the most comfortable sitting height as number one, the most comfortable standing height number two, and preserve the last one for further needs. Has that little pause at the end. I like that. A little motion slowdown. 46.9 apparently is the tallest height. Memory height. Adjust the table to expected height. Press M. Press M until the digital tube displays S. And then press one button. So this is the, probably the height. This is taller than the height of the desk I have right behind me. Fairly good build. Doesn't seem too wobbly up here. I'm not going to be at this height for very long. All in all, let's just do a little wrap up. Looks like there's a little blemish on the top of the on the top of the table. Not something that I would send back for. But this is probably a good working height. Uh, all in all, the build was really good. Uh, did have that one issue where I had the the bolt that didn't align. Uh, yeah, that's the only frustrating thing. So aside from that one screw that was messed up. I think that's all I got. I'm going to have to put these desks back and I got to bring in 
uh, the third item, which is the unboxing of the bookshelf. So I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace out.